hello mbbs yes welcome on my channel once again and look at my face yes for the past weeks i noticed my face was very dry and again extremely dry and dry i mean it was like sahara deserts i've been drinking lots of water eating vegetables even my lips my lips felt so crispy like french fries so i was like goodness i have to do something so in this video i'm going to show you how i'm mixing shea butter and flax seed and uh, not flax seed gel sorry but katira gel to take care of my skin and also how i'm going to use the loofah sponge so stay tuned So let me start by showing you how I prepare this um, mix of shea butter. Mind you, this is a very thick shea butter because I was uh, I was in need of moisture, moisture, moisture. So I didn't mix it with any oil. So let me start by taking pure shea butter that comes from Ghana. This is grade A, is not refined in any way. And if you are going to do this, I suggest you use the ref the the pure one because it's completely different from the refined one. Then the second ingredient I'm going to use is this already made um uh how do I call it? My goodness, Katira gel. <laughs> so this Katira gel is, um, the color is like this because I infuse it in hibiscus, okay? I infuse it in hibiscus tea. So that is why it has this color. I already prepared a lot of it and spread it into this ice cubes container and drop it in the freezer. So I just take the quantity that I need and I don't have to keep preparing it. Yeah, I know that I've learned to prepare things in batch so that I don't have to spend so much time when I'm when i'm when i need it actually so this is what we are going to use and i'm going to take um about only uh one portion which weighs 20 grams so only 20 grams of katira gel and uh we are going to melt it using the method of ben marie if you want to maintain the integrity of the product avoid heating it directly on fire or worse in the microwave heat it warm it with this method then i'm going to prepare my um, ivory shea butter i'm going to take about 150 grams i'll be using this mix only on my face so i need to have a good quantity because i'll be using it every day twice a day yes in the morning after taking my shower and in the evening after taking my shower so i'm never going to leave my skin feeling um and looking very dry throughout the day so i'm taking about 150 grams of this um yellow or ivory uh gold and i'm going to heat it using the same method i'm using for the katira gel which is on ben marie okay i'm heating it this time and not whipping it not uh blending it because um i just prefer to use this method you know since i'm not going to use a lot of um, oils and other things i just prefer like um heating it on ben marie so let it heat on fire in a very set it on a cool level so that it doesn't melt too quickly we don't want to lose all the nutrients that this great product um has why am i calling shea butter a moisturizer what am i why am i calling this mixture a moisturizer first because uh shea butter penetrate can penetrate the skin and also the hair that is why it's a moisturizer and it also contains the katira gel which is hydrating and the katira gel has completely melted as you have seen so one thing and um, also the shea butter is actually ready to be used so i take it off uh, the the stove and one thing I'm going to do is over here is I'm adding few drops of a preservatives now I know I supposed to weigh uh, the katira gel uh, with a precise scale and then add the um, 
the preservative measuring it properly but i don't have that yet so if you have it please follow the right method you have to use about 0.6 percent of uh, this preservative so i mix it very well i'm going very fast now and uh, i will let it sit for a while so that the preservative can work so this is the uh, shea butter after melting it i drop it in the fridge for a couple of hours so it has become solid giving the time for the preservative to also work in the cateri gel so now i'm going to mix these two ingredients let me tell you that since i made this video more than one month has passed okay and this mixture is still fresh there is no bacterial growth no mold in it because of the little quantity of cateri that i use and the preservative the other ingredients i'm adding is vitamin e we all know how vitamin e is very very good for the skin and for the hair it helps to pre to prevent free radicals it keeps the skin uh, healthy young and hydrated and it also gives it shine then now i'm adding some of my favorite essential oils i'm not adding a lot of them i'm adding uh right now my favorite one uh, which is peppermint essential oil because whatever i'm doing i always go with the peppermint essential oil then i go with a little bit of tea tree oil and i think i'm also going to add uh, lavender essential oil in this case um just use your favorite essential oils okay and that will be good then i'm going to whip it for a very 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 long period So now I'm actually transferring the uh, shea butter mix, you can see how thick it is, into my jar. So this is going to be the jar that I'm going to use every morning and every evening on my face. Um, I'm using the spatula as it makes it easier to transfer the products uh, from the container to the, um, from the first container to the second one. So here is my shea butter mix, uh, only mixed with uh, um, Katira gel infused in hibiscus and um, vitamin E and I'm ready to use it on my face. So here I am with my smiling and extremely dry face. I know you can't hear anything but when I was touching my face I felt like when you are working on dry leaves the way it makes the sound you feel the the leaves that are breaking under your feet like that's just what i was hearing and i was feeling on my face very very sad but now we are going to get everything sorted out so i'm going to use for the first time my loofah sponge loofah is actually a vegetable and when it dries up uh, it can be used as a natural sponge so as you can see this sponge is has it has a hold up behind this so i can put my hand inside it and hold it well while i'm using it and after using it i have this little hanger this little hook i can hang it wherever i want so that it will dry up and as i said loofah is natural and it's very good to be used as um uh, to scrub to do a very light scrubbing is fast to use ready to use ready to clean so i've been using it for more than one month and here i am uh, showing you also my african black soap i'm using the moisturizing version because i don't really need to strip everything off for my face so after wetting my face i go ahead and wet the loofah sponge so you can see when it touches the water it likes it it um it absorbs the water so it gets bigger 
it gets it's it swells up because it's uh, it absorbs the water very quickly then i go ahead and rub the african black soup uh, on this pan on the sponge i really exaggerated i was rubbing it too much you can go less than that okay but after doing this you see that it will start for me and you just go ahead and begin to clean your face scrub your face rotating the sponge uh, you can choose if you want a very deep um, uh, scrubbing or a light scrubbing based on how much you uh, add the pressure of the sponge on your skin I was really going hard on it because the first stage when you have dry skin is important to remove those dead skin those dead cells so I was really going hard on it my skin in general likes scrubbing she likes it when I scrub it and remove all those extra dead skin dead cells you know I also have um, psoriasis and dermatitis so it's very important for me to work on my skin and make sure that everything is good so i just go ahead and um, i wet the sponge a little bit more and i go ahead and clean scrub remove dirty and everything then the second stage is going to be to use warm water to rinse away um, to rinse out uh, the uh, foam the soap from my face and what I have learned to do every day morning and evening is after using hot water on my face I go ahead and use cold water as I'm doing it I've been doing this for a while actually since last year I think um, around November December and uh, it works well on my face so even when I come out from the shower I still rinse my face with cold water so I advise you to also do it and now this is the time to use uh, the she butter I dry my face a little bit not much because what I notice is that I like uh, my skin likes it when she's still damp and I apply the she butter so I don't normally dry uh, my skin completely or wait for it to dry before I apply the product so you can see how thick the shea butter is because i didn't add a lot of um, gel in it and i didn't add oils in it so it's not a creamy consistency it's very hard so because it's hard when i apply it in my palm i have to keep rubbing it so that the heat that is generated it will melt the shea butter so make sure that you do this process properly this is not something you do within five seconds no it takes time but that's how it is to take care of your skin and hair it takes time and patience and also the application on my face is something that i take uh, notice of it i try to do it well it's like i'm massaging the shea butter in my skin i don't just apply it and go no i try to massage it on my cheeks on my forehead on my eyes on my lips and uh, you know i have to add a little bit of pressure because as i said the, the butter is very very Thick. but this allowed me to give the necessary time that my skin needs um, in order to be healthy and uh, and 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 moisturized and uh, and nice to look and what I have to tell you is that since I've been doing this uh, once I apply the shea butter on my face in the morning my face remain moisturized and shiny throughout the day the same thing happens when i do it in the evening before going to bed i wake up in the morning that my face is still feeling soft and is and doesn't look dry any longer so i'll be doing this for uh, like three months then i'll come back to you and give you a feedback on how um, this cream uh, this routine this very light routine has been working on me so how to clean the loofah is very simple you just put it under running water you clean it then you squeeze the water out and then you hang it and it's ready to be used again so i use the loofah about three to four times a week in the morning and uh, is doing wonderful things on me 
so this is my very light routine uh, that I've been using right now I use the shea butter every day morning and evening and I use the loofah sponge about uh, three to four times in a week so this is all if you like this video leave a comment down below and follow me see you next time bye bye my NBBs Mwah.